Best crabs of the year right now. Go out, buy crabs. Definitely the best time of the year. Early week, a lot of specials right now. Crabs are flying off the shelves. Not really. Now, on a serious note, I try not to get too serious too often unless I'm talking about sewage treatment plants, but sewage in the water. The guys in Maine, right now, the lobstermen up there, they are in the fight for their life. Do me a favor, go to the link in the description. If you haven't already, sign the petition. There's a petition to take Maine lobster off the red list. Need everybody to buy crabs this time of year. This is the end of the season. They're the best, nicest, prettiest crabs. And less demand. Definitely need people to buy them. Now this tells you how tough them fish are. He's like eating in half and he's still alive. Spot, pretty crazy. The Monterey Bay Aquarium comes up with a red list. Seafood to stay away from. You want to talk about a very sustainable, very well-managed, very, very well-done fishery, Maine lobster. There is absolutely no evidence, no reason for lobsters to be on that list. Now we're going to try to drag this uh, pot off if we can find it. I got, got my new hook. See how it goes. I'm gonna try to find this wrench. We'll see uh, See what we got. Somewhere, I mean, if I was tied off, it was, you know what I mean, it should be somewhere right right there. You know what I mean? Like We got issues with wind farms. We got issues with the federal government. All kind of things going on that are real shady. So, seems like maybe something's going on with the aquarium and these wind farms and whatever else. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's probably gonna make headlines because they're not gonna stand for it. They're not gonna lose their fishery for no reason. Got a little red drum. I know, little slippery guy. Don't see too many of these up in the bay. Got his little black spots. Nice little pretty fish. Small mouth. And let him go. Same other day. He's got two spots though. Got two of them. Pretty cool, nice fish. Had some really cool crabs. Keep crabbing weird. Got one here with a with a split point. Pretty neat. Female, something different. They've gone above and beyond to protect the whales that are up there, the, the right whales. There hasn't been an entanglement in main waters in over 20 years. Way more whales are killed by ships, shipping traffic, and in their summering areas than anywhere in the main stratosphere. Sign that petition, buy Maine Lobster, tell your grocer you want to continue to see Maine Lobster. I know Whole Foods stopped carrying it, a bunch of other restaurants stopped carrying it and dealing with it because of this red listing. Completely unacceptable, in my opinion. You heard it here first if you didn't hear it already. Sign the petition, please. Stay tuned. We're going to try to help get the word out as much as we can down this way to support Maine Lobstermen. Had a barbed really weird end point it's got all kind of little barbs on it really different usually you see like a little spike or something but that's really it's all the way around really cool and i had a couple loose cystic crabs i had one male man they're so mean when they're ow every single time they just tear you up man they're nasty so this crab white on the bottom you can see it's all speckled he's got half a flipper one whole flipper, his legs, and then on his claws, he's got just the the bottom half is white. So typically when I see them, I, the, a lot of the ones I've seen, the whole claw is white, or the, I've seen somebody sent me a picture of one where the top half was white, but this one, just the bottom is. You see how white his stomach is, his face is white. Really cool crab. Real splotchy, loose cystic crab. Pretty neat. They throw back way more of their catch. They don't keep females with eggs. They notch their tails. Any any females with, with notched tails can't be kept. They don't keep any of the bigger ones. 
amazing fishery. They have a tremendous resource up there. There's absolutely no reason, no reason, no evidence to support shutting their fishery down, taking them out of federal waters. I think it's on the right side of it. Beautiful crabs, heavy crabs, best of the year. Got a huge weather event coming in this weekend. Friday's gonna blow northwest 20 to 30. It's highs in the 60s. Chilly, chilly weather coming. Some people may even say fall like. I don't know. The weather cooling down should help start get them crabs feeding. We got one more shed to go through. Got some. Got some. Good pot, bad pot, line. <laughs> what on earth is that? You see, if you touch it, it's gonna go tink. I was what, like a 10 inch adjustable lens, maybe four? It was like this. It was like this. Oh, it was a ratchet? How's it stick it up? How long does it stick it up? It, the males are starting to turn on a little bit. The, the small males are feeding hard now. Starting to see all the little legs and growth on them. The females are just about done. We did catch another doubler today. It's right on top of the water. Scooped them up. I don't know. Made the hunk it is cable. Oh, got some copper in it. Kind <laughs> of scary. <laughs> well, the old magnet fishing experiment uh, did not work. I'm to the point I think I'm going to jump in the water just to see if it's actually down there or if what happened. We threw that magnet about 47,000 times and the area where I know I dropped it and nothing came up. Spent $25 on a magnet that didn't find the $15 wrench I lost. Didn't do real good math on that one. Eh, oh well, we'll have it. Maybe try to do some magnet fishing some days. Eh, probably not, I ain't got time for that. Cotton candy. That's what they call lobsters at least, I don't know. So this crab is like almost like a pink color. Or like a blue, light blue. Really neat. Ouch. Beautiful color. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I don't know, I swear when they're leucistic, I guess because they got to defend themselves more. Man, she is a cool crab. Her claws are, instead of being red or pink on the ends, really light blue. Just, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Cotton candy crab, I guess. Really neat. Feels like the end of it there, I don't know. seeing a few females male peelers are going to start seeing we're starting to see some nice big giant saw crabs again we'll have them through about mid-october something like that just just the beginnings of that beautiful crabs right now oh, what the heck are we going to do with that <laughs> i gotta pick up pots so. uh, I'm, I'm at a loss here Finally gonna try some fish. All the fish lovers out there, everybody said fish is better, blah, 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 blah. I've been using a little bit, trying a little bit of fish, a little bit of shrimp. I haven't seen any difference, really. Some pots look good, some pots don't. Fish a little bit cheaper. Using uh, Menhaden, you see them really nice, pretty yellow tails on them. That's a nice, fresh fish. Definitely helps to have them nice and fresh. Put uh, two or three of these in a pot, it's all we use. I know if you're in Louisiana, you stuff the whole thing full, or Georgia, or wherever. We just don't have the crabs up here to, to destroy the bait like you guys do. Crabbing's still been pretty decent. It did fall off. 
last week or so. It's definitely off some. The weather changed, I guess, and kind of that time of the year. Today we had a pretty good day, picked back up some. Hopefully it'll hold, see what this weather does. Crabs are still some crabs shallow, six, seven, eight foot, all the way out into 15 foot on the mud. They're pretty spread out. This cooler weather coming should push them more towards the 10, 12, 15 out on the mud, 18 foot, something like that. So as the weather changes, they tend to move a little bit deeper. There's plenty of food, the water stays warmer as that shallower water cools off. Typically we get wind this time of year, start getting wind and stirs everything up so that deeper water, I guess, stays more calm. Who knows? Only the crab knows. Well, no takers on the famous Lumar Lost Anchor. I've heard it's advertised for as much as $1,400. Probably hold on to it till the winter, I don't know. And then maybe sell it in the spring or something, I don't know. I guess I did say we were gonna sell it and have a after party. I don't know. I'll hold on to it for a couple weeks. Somebody uh, comes up with it, I hate to sell it, and then somebody say, hey, I lost an anchor, Did you, didn't you have one? And that already sold it. Although, hey, finders keepers, you know what I mean?